uh, we got some cards here, and you know what though, for this trick, I don't need all the cards, I just need uh, a, a few. So you'll help me pick out which we use, okay? So go ahead, just touch one card for me. Yeah, just touch one, any one you like. Okay, that one, great, and touch another one. Yeah, oh, very good, and uh, another one. And we're just gonna keep going here for a little bit, you can just touch a few, yeah, yeah, there we go, touch another one, okay. You're doing fantastic. This is the trick, actually. <laughs> go ahead, touch one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one, and just one more for good luck. That's it. Yeah, so yeah. that one's great. Perfect. Okay, so that's a, that's a, that's a healthy little amount of cards there. All right. So now, Chanel, I know you've you've seen a few card tricks, right? I mean, yeah, like your fair share. Uh, so you know that uh, usually the plot of a card trick is you pick a card, I find it, kind of a thing, right? Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do that, but I'm going to show you, you know, when magicians do these card tricks, we try to find interesting ways to reveal cards, to make them really stand out from the other ones. Uh, so I'm going to show you three of my favorite ways to make a card stand out from the others, okay? So first we need a card, though, and I'm going to start running through them like this. Oops, sorry, go ahead. I want you just to say stop whenever you wish. Stop. Right there, okay. Go ahead, take a look at that card, okay? Yeah, you got it, and I'm going to show it over here, too. All right. And we're going to pack a little bit of a shuffle, a little bit of a mix. Now, the thing is, right now, I don't know where your card is. It could be that one. It could be, uh, it could be this one. I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the cards about uh, in half, okay? And uh, I'm going to mix them face up into face down. So I'm going to take this card and slide it right here and this card right here. So now we have the cards interlaced here face up and face down. Now, did I get lucky here? Is one of these cards your card? It is one. One of them is. Yeah. You don't have to tell me which one. Okay. I just want to. Okay, that's cool. So one of them is the face-up card and not one of the face-down cards. Now watch. I'm going to do this as slowly as I can. Here's the first great way to reveal a card. Watch this. That's a little magic, magic twist. And when that happens, check it out. There's now one card that's face-up. Is that your card? Did we get it right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? But you know, there's another cool way we can make your card stand out. This is like my second favorite way to make your card stand out. Watch this. Look, if I just rub it on my sleeve like that and change the back. That's pretty good, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty awesome right there. But you know, there's an even better way. There's a better way to make your card uh, stand out from all the other cards. And that's to make the other cards disappear. And it just happened. Did you just catch it? Did you see it? It looks like I'm a crazy person. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? But look, I'll show you. I really did make the other cards disappear because that one is now blank. That one's blank. That one's blank. And that one's blank. And this one also is completely blank. <laughs>